today I'm going to be talking about my New Year's resolutions for my channel. So a couple of weeks ago I started a list on my phone and I've been writing them down as they kind of pop into my head and I thought, you know what, I'm actually just going to put it in a video so that you guys can know what to expect for the year of 2019. These are things that I'm going to be changing in my channel and I'm excited about it and I want to hear your guys' input and your feedback and if there's any suggestions that you have for me or any type of comments on any of my resolutions, let me know in the comments down below because I couldn't do this channel without you guys and your direction that you lead me in is never wrong. So let's get started. Okay, number one is I wanna do more series on my channel. So I kinda of wanna have like more of a schedule where, you know, I keep a schedule. Basically, instead of you guys never knowing what's gonna be up except for Foundation Fridays. When I changed my schedule uploading every single day, I did talk about how I was gonna do more Tip Tuesdays, and I'm definitely gonna start doing Tip Tuesdays. Those are things that I just have not implemented yet. Back in the springtime, I did Seven Days of Foundation, and where I uploaded a review of a new foundation for Seven Days Straight, and that was really fun, and I got that idea because I really love that Taylor. Her channel is a channel that I've watched for many years. I think she's got like six or 700,000 subscribers, but she does, she does 15 days of foundation and I love her 15 days of foundation. So I'm kind of thinking about implementing that back into my channel doing, you know, maybe doing seven days of foundation every three months, four times a year, or every four months, three times a year, that type of thing. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the seven days of foundation. I also was going to do a seven days of concealer testing, but I never got around to it. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I'm going to implement a day on my channel where I upload Maybe it's every two weeks. That's the video that I go through all of the products that I've been testing out and maybe did a review on it and I kind of give you guys an update on how the product is working and if my opinion has changed on it or whatever. So I'm definitely going to be implementing more series into the channel and making it just a little bit more organized if that makes sense. So the next one is I'm going to be using more drugstore products. So that is one thing that I wanted to do in 2018 but just didn't. I started to and then I kind of backed off but in 2019 I'm gonna make it the year of me testing out so much drugstore products that I'm like overwhelmed with them because I think that the drugstore products have really stepped up their game I want to find more dupes from drugstore products you know comparing them to my more expensive products and I really really want to dive more into the drugstore world because the drugstore has a lot to offer I mean, these brands are popping them out. Like that new foundation from L'Oreal, oh my gosh, the Fresh Wear Foundation is bomb. So the drugstore is really bringing it. They're stepping up their game and it is definitely something that I wanna review more on my channel. Number three, oh my gosh, this one is gonna be tough. I'm never gonna be able to stop doing this, ever. I'm never gonna be able to stop doing this, but, I want to try to find a way around it. This one is stop using my hands so much. So I'm constantly like this. And I try really, really hard not to, you guys. You have no idea how hard I try not to. But it is so hard for me to talk without my hands. And it's almost like maybe I just need to keep my hands like this, locked and loaded, sitting in front of me so that I don't use them. But... I am definitely going to try not to talk with my hands in these videos because it's just too much. It's, you know, it's already hard enough to kind of focus on what people are saying, but when you've got all this busyness going on, I feel you. When I watch myself, I want to slap myself and say, stop using your hands, you stupid ass. Stop doing it. So that is one thing I'm going to try really, 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 really hard not to do. Okay, number four is get better with my editing. So right now I use a software called iMovie and it's just uploaded on my Apple computer. And I, when I bought my computer and I was going to start my videos, I have never used any Apple products ever in my life. I have a Samsung Galaxy. 8 plus phone. I'm an Android user. I've never used any Apple products. So when I got that Mac, I'm going to tell you right now, if it wasn't for my daughter, I wouldn't be editing videos because I would have no idea what I was doing. My daughter was the one that really stepped up and helped me edit my videos and she taught me how to edit my videos and she taught me how to use the Mac and I'm so grateful. But when we started the channel, I bought the 
bucks, I don't know, like $200 program, the Final Cut Pro. I bought that program and it's sitting on my computer, but I've never used it because I don't know how to use it. And I do think that that program has a lot more to offer as far as just special effects and stuff like that. So in the year of 2019, that's one thing I'm gonna do is really learn how to use Final Cut Pro and really step up my editing game. And I really wanna get a microphone because I know that my voice kind of comes across and I'm trying to adjust all the volumes up and down. The volume is tough because sometimes I'll get comments where I'm talking way too loud and then other comments I'll get where you're way too quiet. And I'm trying to adjust the volume level so that it's just right. But my camera doesn't have the capability of having a microphone and I bought this camera last year and I haven't really wanted to buy a new one just yet. But in the year of 2019, I'm definitely gonna buy a new camera. So that leads me into number five. I wanna get a new camera because I wanna be able to control my voice and the loudness and stuff like that and have a softer voice, but a better voice with a microphone. But I also wanna get a better camera where I can do better footage like in the natural lighting and stuff when I'm testing out my foundations. This camera is extremely tough. I need like something on the front face so that I can see if I'm in view of the camera. Like I've taken this camera and I've taken it out into the natural lighting. I'm holding it up, but I can't see myself. So I don't even know if I'm in the frame. It's a pain in the butt. So that's one reason why I wanna get a better camera because I do feel like being able to have a microphone capabilities and being able to use it more like a vlog type style would be so much better so that I could give you guys natural lighting when I'm testing out the foundation. So that's something I'm gonna to try to do in the year of 2019. Number six would be get better lighting. And here's why. I've had this comment several times and I'm gonna get it today because I'm wearing this particular foundation. So. I love my Lancome Skin Feels Good foundation, but I don't wear it a lot on camera because I get comments like, oh, you look like you dumped your head in a Crisco can because I look oily. And it's not, I am not oily, okay? I'm a dry human right now. It's because that foundation is very hydrating and then the lights glare off my skin. So it makes me look like I'm oily, but I'm not oily. I'm like, you, seriously, I wish I was oily, people. So because I do wear so much glowing stuff, so, you know, I wear the Charlotte Tilbury, which makes my skin glow. I wear a glowing foundation. And then I wear, you know, this ambient lighting palette over top. I'm really adding all of that extra glowiness to it. By the time I'm done, I do look a little bit oily. Some people would call it glowy, and there's some that say it's oily. I think I need to get a better lighting system, but I just don't know exactly how to do it because I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm. This has all been trial and error. I don't, I'm not, you know, a photographer. I don't understand lighting. I don't understand the camera settings, which by the way, I did fix my camera settings and I'm really glad I did, but I wanna get better lighting. So that is definitely gonna happen in the year of 2019. The other thing that I wanna do is I wanna learn how to create those 40 second videos that you put up on Instagram. You know those really quick 40 second tutorials where you can pop them up on the Instagram and they're fun for you guys to view and watch? I wanna learn how to do those. I just don't know how to do it. I'm gonna force myself to learn how to do that because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously all you have to do is just, you know, search on YouTube, everything. You can learn anything on YouTube. And so I just need to utilize that. I need to find the time, especially now uploading every day. It's hard to find the time to one, learn how to edit those videos, two, learn how to do the Final Cut Pro. Like I really need to learn that system. Like all that stuff's just gonna take me time to learn how to do it. But in the year of 2019, my goal is to really make those a goal. I'm gonna keep this on my phone so that I can look at it and just kind of start knocking them out. So. The final one that I have here is post more on Instagram and Snapchat. And that is one thing I don't do often enough. I don't let you guys in to my personal life like I should be on my Instagram and my social media and stuff because it's like, and I think this is why when I'm with my family, it's almost like I don't really think about getting on social media and it's probably because I'm older and I'm not on social media like the younger groups are. So, you know, those who are in their teens and 20s, 
they're on social media all the time because they grew up with social media. I didn't. And so it's hard for me to incorporate social media into my everyday life as far as, you know, vlogging or taking pictures of whatever, or I don't know, like it's very hard for me. I, and it's because I'm old, you guys. It's just, that's truthfully what it is. It's because I'm old school. It is one thing that I want to do. I want to bring you guys into more of my personal life because I kind of feel like, it would be nice for you guys to know me on more of a personal level. So that's one thing I want to try to do is do more Snapchatting, do more, you know, Instagram. Um, what are those called? I don't even know what it's called. Insta stories. That's what it's called. I want to do more Snapchat and Insta stories. <laughs> Lord help me. I need lots of help. You guys, I need a lot of help. Those are my New Year's resolutions for the year of 2019. So if you have any suggestions, I want I want you guys to give me constructive criticism. So if there's anything that you think I need to change, put it in the comments down below. Do not think you're going to hurt my feelings because as long as you're not being an asshole, I am so grateful for constructive criticism. There is a point where people can just be a total asshole, but I know that's not what you guys are. You guys love me and I love you and you guys want to help me. So if you have any suggestions or any recommendations to, you know, make my channel better or or if there's something that I could be doing better, please do not hesitate to put it in the comments down below because it helps me. I want to hear it. And, you know, again, as long as you're not being an asshole, it's constructive, right? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you have any constructive criticism, please give it to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I am going to do everything I can to stay with these New Year's resolutions. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day filled with love, happiness, and joy. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I love you all so much. Bye!